Hey everyone, it's Raldo here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Pirate Class revamp that came out for Talk Like a Pirate Day this year. Uh, in case you didn't know, I was the writer for the Talk Like a Pirate Day release, and I had a blast. And one of the big things I wanted to do was remake the Pirate Class with its own unique moves. Because if you look at all of the other Artix Entertainment games, Dragon Fable, Adventure Quest, that sort of thing, Pirates had their own unique moves, whereas in AQ Worlds, pirates were just rogues with a different looking armor. And to add insult to injury, ninjas in AQ Worlds got their own moves, but pirates didn't. So, it may be seven years after the pirate class was released in the beta phase, but I finally fixed it. Sort of. Uh, so it's a non-member class, and uh, it's not seasonal with Talk Like a Pirate Day. Uh, it'll always be in-game might change where it's available. I'm going to show you where it's currently available, but it, it might change. Yeah, so I'll show you how it works, and I hope you enjoy. The other thing about the pirate class you might want to know is that it's the tenth class I ever designed. So to get it, you're going to have to jump through a few hoops. You've got to go to slash pirates, which is this map, and then talk to Elisa Keelhall. Once you do that, go on to her more sort of option. If you've never been here before, her pirate shop will be greyed out. In which case, you want to do the quests, and you want to do map recovery. Map recovery requires you to kill five enemies in the area, and when you do, you have a chance of getting the classic pirate class, and yeah, just get that. You need the classic pirate class to get the new version. The classic pirate is basically the old version renamed. So if you had the old version, it's now called classic pirate, and it's just the rogue moves with the pirate look. Now, once you do that, you've got to go meet probably the most handsome NPC in the game to get your pirate class. So join Blazebeard. Yep. And now that we're here, this handsome and all-around amazing NPC, known as Zarello, can help you. If you go to a shop here, If you have the class tokens, you can merge. Uh, don't worry about Alpha Pirate. You've either got it or you don't. If you don't have Alpha Pirate, you can't do it. But you need a uh, Pirate class token. And the way to get that is through the new Pirate class quest. Now, uh, I think, I can't quite remember for certain, but I think you've actually got to play through the whole release. Uh, how terrible playing through a release with Zarello as the NPC that was written by me. How will you ever survive? Anyway, you've got to get the rusty nail from Undead Pirates, so you just accept the quest, go kill some Undead Pirates, which are around here, so have fun with that. And uh, then you turn in, you can get an armor version of the class, as well as the token which you need to merge, and then you get the new class with the new moves, which is what you all really want. So yeah. You get to meet me in the process, so that's quite cool. Yes, I'm a little bit too happy and enthusiastic about being able to write a release like that. The good news is, there's more coming, but they're not starring me, so that's fine. Enhancements for a pirate class are surprisingly simple, yet deceptive. A lot of people assume that because pirate the original version was just rogue copied, that the pirate class would be a sort of high dodge, sort of dexterity, thief type class. That's not what I did at all. I went for the luck style, uh, and I've got a good reason for that. It's no secret that I love pirates, and therefore it's probably a good guess that I'm a huge Fir Pirates of the Caribbean fan, which I am. When you watch those movies, Captain Jack Sparrow gets himself into a lot of sticky situations, and he always somehow gets out. It doesn't look like he plans it. It just seems to be a bit of luck and just spontaneous knowing what to do. So uh, I figured, oh, I'll just base it on that. The whole not really knowing how you're going to get out, but just taking whatever you can. Or take what you can, give nothing back. That's a good quote. Uh, so luck is what I went with. As you can see, this gives it some nice base stats here. Really good evasion, crit and haste, and hit. It's got three passives. It's got the 12% to dodge here, 10% to crit, and also 10% damage at rank 10, which is quite nice in terms of HP regen. 
oh no, HP MP regen, and a bit of HP actually. It's the dodge model, same as Rogue, so you strike your enemy in combat and doing crits will restore even more MP, but when you dodge and attack you get a bit of HP back as well as MP. And that plays into your fourth move. A bit weirdly. Uh, recommended enhancements, same as always really, um, for your ore enhancements. It's Spiral Carve and Health Vamp. I'm not going to be using any of those though. And the other thing to remember is I'm using a stable damage weapon, meaning that I will always hit the same amount. You can use whatever weapon you want, you can hit way higher or hit way lower. I'm just showing you the sort of exact average so you get a nice idea of what to expect from this class. So now we get onto the fun part, the moves. Uh, this is just your basic auto attack. No faster auto attack like on Rogue, just your basic auto attack. First move is quite cheap, 7 mana, 3 second cooldown. And it's got a nice sort of stacking effect. It increases your chance to crit by 3% and your crit damage by 7. Now this stacks 5 times, so your crit damage will max out at 35% more than usual and you'll have a 15% extra chance to crit. So that's quite nice. Uh, your second move, and my personal favorite of this class, is Plunder. Now this is quite expensive, 30 mana, 12 second cooldown. Now this has three different effects that can apply. You've got one that increases your haste by about 30% for I think it's 8 seconds. Uh, you've got dodge which increases your dodge rate by 30% for 8 seconds and then you've got the heal which doesn't really want to show up at the moment but I assure you is there. Um, it was really funny during testing a lot of people were like oh the heal it doesn't exist but then some other people were like the dodge doesn't exist and then other people said the haste didn't exist and that's just pure RNG. It's a lucky base class and I wanted aspects of that to filter through. Ah, there you go. So, as you can see, you don't actually have a reliable heal other than your dodge. And the dodge effect will actually help you heal a bit, but not the same as the heal over time. You've got your third move here, hand cannon. That's 15 mana with a 12 second cooldown. Now this does a nice amount of damage and it's got two possible effects that can apply. Now, uh, it can either activate the dot, which it just did, or it can increase the damage they take by 20% for 8 seconds. So, this one, it's either, it's going to do more damage in one way or another. The uh, dot's far more useful if you're on your own, because that's a fair amount more damage, but if you're in a group, that 20% extra damage because it's applied to your target, that 20% extra damage from everyone could make a bit of a difference, especially on bosses. Uh, finally, you have my tricky little move that I put in here, Cannon Fire, a uh, little for blast of Cannon Fire from your conveniently nearby but hidden ship. I had a lot of fun with that description. Now, it increases your opponent's haste by 25%, so they attack 25% faster, but it reduces their damage by 35%. Now I've done the math, and you've probably done it too. Overall, they will be doing less damage to you just, and it's a fair amount of damage. But you're probably wondering, what's the point in increasing their sort of attack speed. Well, that's crafty. Uh, you see, on the mana regen model, you regen MP and HP to an extent from dodging. Now, if they attack more often, that gives you sort of more chances to dodge, more chances to, well, you, you have more chances more often, so you can regen MP and HP quicker. And, yeah, you'd actually lose more if they were doing the same amount of damage, but they're doing less. So, cumulatively, you're actually gaining a bit more MP and HP, as well as just doing more damage. So that's what the class looks like when you sort of 
use it on its own. But when you uh, start stacking everything, it gets a lot more fun. Now I'll just actually stack up, cut this combo a bit higher, get that to its full five. I think I'm on its full five. And then you unleash and you've got more damage. And as long as you keep it applied, you're good because it does it a uh, fade right at the end. So, as you can see, you do run out of MP if you uh, just spam everything. So you might want to be a bit more cautious with what you use. Uh, plunder can really help or not help. So, uh, I'm really happy with how this class came out, personally. Uh, you might feel differently about it. I know it's a bit of a pain in PvP because of the high dodge, but at the same time it doesn't have a guaranteed heal and it can't guarantee that it gets the dodge and that's why the uh, bonuses are so high for plunder because you can't actually guarantee that you're going to get your dodge or your health or your haste. So I hope you've enjoyed this guide. Uh, it's good to be back and you're probably all expecting more from me. Next up is Ultra Omni Knight. So uh, until then, bye.